Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Friendly TV app. Today I'm bringing you into my house so that I can tell you about the Friendly TV app. So this app, I found it scrolling through Instagram, an ad or something popped up, so I decided to check it out. It was actually developed by two big TV execs, and they decided they wanted to create an app that was affordable. They handpicked the channels so that they would be family friendly and entertaining all at the same time. So they got together and they created the Friendly TV app. Now, there's a lot of things we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna do most of it just by, by filming directly through the app. So. Get ready, you're gonna learn all the things you wanna know, and as always, we're gonna go through the facts. The first thing we're gonna talk about is fit. Two main questions, does this app fit your needs and does it fit your budget? First thing is, this app does include 15 channels. The main reason that I decided to go ahead and try this app is because it has the Hallmark Channel, and most importantly, the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, which is one of my favorites. Um, on the flip side though, it also includes uh, the Outdoor Channel, the Sportsman's Channel, and the World Fishing Networks. Uh, so if your family is like mine, then this app is the perfect fit for you. Now, next, we move on to budget. So does the Friendly app fit your budget? There are three packages. Uh, they range from $5.99 up to $9.99. They have all the same channels in all three packages, but the difference is the number of screens that you can use at the same time and the ability to use DVR. This app does come with a seven day free trial, which basically fits in everybody's budget. So, um, and there's no contract, so you can cancel whenever. So if you're like my family and you've cut cable, you still wanna watch some Hallmark movies and your favorite hunting and fishing shows on a very reasonable budget, then I say this is for you. So for fit, it's perfect for my family. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. All right, next, is the Friendly TV app as advertised? The three big pieces of their advertising is that the app is simple, family friendly, and uplifting. First, the content is very family friendly and uplifting. In addition to the channels I mentioned before, it also includes uh, INSP TV, which has Bonanza, The Waltons, Walker, Texas Ranger. It also has Up TV, which has Reba, The Gilmore Girls, Little House on the Prairie. Now, if you've ever said, hey, they just don't make TV shows like they used to, you can find plenty of programming worth watching on this app. Now, is the Friendly TV app simple? You, we'll start here on this guide screen, which looks just like every other guide screen for any cable that you have. Um, I have a Fire TV an Amazon Fire TV stick. So um, I just use the remote to maneuver through, select the show you wanna watch. Let's say we wanna watch um, <clears throat> A God Wink Christmas. And you hit the button, you say watch live, and it pulls it up right to The God Wink Christmas. Now, if you change your mind and you're like, eh, I don't wanna watch that, you just hit the back button and it takes you right back to the guide screen. One feature I do like is um, sort of their on-demand feature. You can watch anything that has been aired in the past 72 hours. So you go back and on any channel, you can specify which channel, which network that you wanna go through and choose that show. And uh, you can watch it or you can record it and watch it later. Here's one trick. If you pick a show on the 72-hour um, look back, if you hit the watch button, you won't be able to fast forward through commercials or um, it'll say can't seek forward. But if you go back and you decide that you want to, um, you hit record and you say confirm, record this episode and then hit watch for whatever reason, they'll let you skip ahead. Now, recording is also pretty easy. So all you have to do is let's say you want to watch um, an episode of the Golden Girls that you missed. So you hit that button, you hit record, record this episode, confirm, and you can either watch it right away or you go back up to my recordings and ta-da, there it is, the episode of the Golden Girls that I just recorded. So for me, it is family friendly. I think it's really simple and the content is definitely uplifting. So in terms of is it as advertised, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. 
Thirdly, construction and durability. As I mentioned, the, I think the design of the app is easy and it's easy to maneuver through, it's easy to figure out. Um, if you know the tricks, you can fast forward through commercials and rewind if you miss something. In terms of fast forwarding, it is a little bit, uh, I guess, annoying because you can only fast forward 10 seconds at a time. So it'll only jump ahead 10 seconds. Uh, you can, some apps like Hulu, you can scroll through and see the screenshot and choose where you want to stop. This one doesn't have that. It's not a, a huge deal for me, but obviously that would be something that could be a little bit better. One thing that I think could be a little bit better as well is if you want to record something. So let's say that I want to record this Haley Dean mystery. So I click it, I click record, and then I can either record this episode or record all new and repeat episodes. The problem here is that this app can't, um, or so doesn't seem to differentiate between this exact same movie and new movies with the same title. So if you hit record all new and repeat episodes, if it records this particular movie, then if this movie came on eight more times, then it's going to record every time that exact movie came on. So it doesn't just record the new ones, it's, but it's all of them. One other thing I think could be a little better is on the on-demand page. You see how when you, when you switch and hover over these pages, uh, these different activities, it doesn't tell you what they are. You have to click it to read that description there. So um, it would be nice if when you switched hover and hovered over it, it would give you that description without having to click it. But again, not a huge deal, just something that could be um, improved upon in the future maybe. As I mentioned, none of those little tiny issues are deal breakers for me. They're just things that maybe could be improved, improved upon in the future. Um, so when I put all those little pieces together, I'm gonna give uh, construction and durability a four out of five. Now for testimonials and reviews. Overall, on all the platforms where you can buy this app, it gets pretty good scores. Um, there definitely are some negatives that people have shared. One, they don't like the commercials. Well, when you're watching the live TV option, there are gonna be commercials. Nobody likes commercials. Um, but if you play the system, record it, watch it later, then you can do like any other uh, system and just fast forward through those commercials. Second, people don't like that um, the on-demand. I think a lot of people thought whenever they chose this app, it'd be like the Hallmark now movies where um, the shows their favorite shows were on it and they could just watch it like a Netflix or something like that this app doesn't do that those are two standalone so if that's what you're looking for this may not be exactly perfect for you and like I mentioned people don't particularly like that you can't fast forward and just skip ahead to what it is that you want to watch in that show but it only goes 10 seconds at a time overall when you average out all the reviews uh, this app gets a score of 4.09 out of 5 and as always the last question is should I buy this thing so if you like old-timey TV shows, you like uplifting shows, Hallmark movies, Outdoor Channel, uh, you like all that stuff and you don't have cable and you don't want to pay for cable, for as little as $5.99 a month, you can watch it in standard definition with no DVR. Um, you can watch unlimited DVR for just $7.99 a month. Plus, like I mentioned before, it has that seven-day free trial. So why not? Why not give it a try? Try it for seven days. See if you like it. <clears throat> see if it's easy to use in your mind and see what you think. So for me, I love it. I absolutely um, love this app. It's great, it works easy, and it fits my needs. So should you buy this thing, I'm gonna say absolutely give it a five out of five.